Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with the next game in the Minnesota North Stars 1990-91 season replay. Uh, currently, um, we come in with a record of 29, 28, and 5. And since our last game against Quebec, which was televised, in quick play games, we've gone 3, 2, and 1. Currently, we're in third in the Norris Division, 11 points behind Chicago and 18 points behind first place St. Louis. And Edmonton comes into this game 29, 28, and 3. And also in third place in their division, in their case, the Smythe Division. And um, so we are going to be playing Edmonton with John Casey in net for us and Bill Ranford in net for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, before we get going here, I want to remind everybody, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Leave a comment about the game as you're watching and as it's going on. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, leave a, um, in your comments. You can uh, suggest uh, anything you want to see or if maybe there's a different way you want me to do the games. Uh, we can even uh, discuss that idea. But uh, let's drop the puck and get underway with this one right now. And Booka Boom comes away with the puck off the face off. Okay, we gotta go next action. And there's a penalty. And that's gonna be on Mark Tenorti. Five minutes, five minutes. My God. Well, that ain't going to be good. Five minute penalty on Mark Tenorti. So, Curtis, sir. Uh, no, not Curtis Joe. Curtis Joseph. Who is that? Chris Joseph. Maybe that was his brother. I don't know. Uh, we got Craig Simpson with an inside shot. And he's going to do it. It's saved, and the right defenseman will come away with it. And that is Scott Chambers. Sean Chambers. Sean Chambers has the puck for us. And Mark Messier has an inside shot. That isn't going to be good. And that's a rebound. Saving a rebound by Casey. Offensive right defenseman if he's a two, and of course he's going to be. And that's Chris Joseph. With an inside, with a rebound, inside shot. And that's a goal. And Edmonton, just like that, is up on top, one nothing. Three shots for them, none for us. And uh, they lead one nothing. And there's still 4.15 left in the Tenorti penalty, so bad news all around. And uh, Smith has the puck. Chris Joseph with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it. That's Neil Broughton. And Mark Messier with an inside shot, stealing the puck and getting inside. And that's going to be a goalie rating, and it's a 7, and it's a goal. So now we're down 2 nothing. And uh, tell me that they're going to let Tenorti out after that, I hope. Nope. Tenorti's still in the box. 
So, I don't know if back then it was like, you know, you serve your penalty no matter what, even if there's a goal while you're sitting there. Or two while you're sitting there, in this case. So... McIver has the puck for Edmonton. And that's going to be McTavish with an outside shot. That's going to be a seven. It's a save. Right defenseman comes away with it. And that's Dahlquist with the puck for us. And that's going to be Peter Klima with an inside shot. So we're getting all kinds of badness here. And that's going to be a save, though, and a face-off to Casey's left. So Duchesne has, or no, Glenn. Glenn has the puck. And MacGyver takes it away and has an inside shot. That's going to be a save, and the defensive center will come away with it. Except we don't have one because we still have Tenorti serving part of his penalty. So they, uh, yeah, Mc, or McTavish uh, penetrated, got the puck penetrated, and he's got an inside shot. And that's going to be a save anyone, and um, I'm going to take the guy that's across from the B, which really they have three of them out there, so I'll just pick one of them. And finally, the Tenorti penalty is over, and Prop has the puck. But we're down 2 nothing, and they have nine shots. We have nothing. We have no shots. None. Zero. And Murphy has the puck for Edmonton. And Prop gets it back, takes, steals the puck away. And uh, Klima steals a puck from him, so now Klima has the puck. And we have Prop with an outside shot. Um, I'm going to pass the puck. Inside shot for any player. And we will make that be uh well no we'll give it to madonna so madonna inside and he gets a goalie rating and a nine and that's a goal so we score on ranford and make it two one on our first shot of the game So they're out shooting us nine to one, but they're only outscoring us two to one. And uh, face off at center ice. And you got to believe if we hadn't had that um, Tenorti, that massive Tenorti five minute penalty, we'd either be winning right now one nothing or tied one one. All right, select a player for the puck. I'm going to get give it to Madano because he's across from a do double A penalty. Possible breakaway. 
And Glenn, Glenn on the breakaway shot. Could tie the game right here. And goalie rating and 11. Save any forward. Dang. So Lindsman has the puck for Edmonton. And Ranford, man, what what a backup goaltender. So Prop has the puck. And that's going to be a save left wing. And I say backup because the other goalie is uh Grant Fewer, so I'm assuming that Ranford was the backup. Possible breakaway for us, I would think. And it is Gagne with a breakaway shot on Ranford. And that's an eight, and that's a rebound. And Gagne get, picks it up and has another shot because their center wasn't a three defensively. And that's going to be a goalie rating, and a six is a goal, and we tie the game on our fifth shot of the game. So 11-03 in the first period, and the score is 2-2. That was uh, a pretty seriously great turn of events for the uh, Minnesota North Stars. So Gagne's 33, 33rd goal of the season and prop with the assist. And we have the faceoff again. So now we're being outshot 9-5 at 11.03 in the first period, but the score is tied at 2. Glenn Anderson is going to come away with the puck off the faceoff, off the ensuing faceoff. And Prop steals the puck away. And I think he lost the puck, though. Bookaboom has the puck for Edmonton. And that was a nice stretch pass that apparently uh, Craig Simpson had received and now has an outside shot. And that is a save by Casey, which will be a face off to his left as he covers it up. And Madonna now has the puck. And a lot of clutching and grabbing, but now Prop has an inside shot on Ranford. And that's going to be a save, and their right wing comes away with the puck off the save. That's Peter Glima. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to intimidate. Doesn't work, and Jelinus has an inside shot right on top of uh, John Casey. And that's going to be a goalie rating, and that's 12, which is a rebound. Offensive left defenseman if a two, and he is, and so that's Steve Smith. He gets a seven, which is a lose to right wing. So we survived that. Madonna comes away with the puck. And there's a penalty. And that's going to be on Kelly Bootberger for two minutes. And we have a faceoff at center ice. And with that break in the action, I am going, with seven minutes and 31 seconds left in the first period, I'm going to move ahead to uh, two minutes left in the first period. So let's see here. Options. Uh, no. Let's see. 
gain, quick play, two, um, two minutes left. And we did that, and now they're ahead 3 2. And 12 shots to seven with a minute 29 left. So Edmonton takes the lead 3 to 2 during that period of time. And uh, we'll have to find out who scored that goal. But Kevin Lowe comes away with the puck. They're still short handed. I don't know what happened there. Mooney has the puck now for Edmonton. 11 seconds left in the period. Yes, I will try to intimidate. And the period's over. So uh, face off at center ice to lead off the second period. We're losing three to two and we're down 12 shots to seven. We come out of the locker room for the second period. Minnesota wins the faceoff, and uh, Tenorti has the puck. Now, you know, if we lose this game, we're going to blame it on Tenorti and his uh, five-minute penalty. I'm going to say no, not to intimidate. It's only 25% chance, and we certainly don't need another penalty right now. But Buka Boom is inside shooting because of that, but it's a save, and the right wing will come away with it. Casey probably doesn't like my decision making, but hey. Uh, let's see, 50%? Yeah. I'm going to try to intimidate with 50% chance for sure. And there's no penalty. But Tenorti can't ride him off anyway, and that's Glenn Anderson with an inside shot, looks like. And that's going to be a save, and the center will come away with the puck. Neil Broughton has the puck. And that's going to be uh, Bellows for the shot, the outside shot chance. And now it's inside. He penetrated inside. Nice. We need him to tie the game. Goalie rating plus, but that doesn't happen because they were not shorthanded. So we got a face off to Ranford's right. Steve Smith comes away with the puck. And now Kevin Lowe has the puck for Edmonton. There's a penalty, and it looks like it's going to be on Johnson. Yep, Jim Johnson, two minutes. So face off at center ice without us having a center and being shorthanded as we are. Chris Joseph has control of the puck, looks like. He does. And that's going to be Glenn Anderson with an outside shot. It's an 11, and that's a save in the left wing coming away with the puck for us. Who is Berezin? And they steal the puck away, and Craig Simpson has an inside shot. That's a goalie rating, and that's a 7, and that's a goal. 
So Gacy is getting his butt handed to him here, and it's 4-2 in the second period. And if this gets too much worse, I might skip ahead again. Got a face-off at center ice. Losing 4-2 and being outshot 16-8. Not the kind of situation you really want to ideally have for your team. McCray now has the puck. Basil McCray, our good friend Basil McCray, and there's a penalty. And uh, that's going to be pretty much on, uh, mainly on Edmonton. I think we had a guy in there, but they're going to be shorthanded for two minutes. This would be an ideal chance for us to make a comeback and try to get back to within four to three with 15.31 left in the second period. And Bookaboom takes the puck away. And Gagne, Gagne stole the puck and has an inside shot, but it's gonna be a save and a right defenseman for Edmonton picks it up, swoops in and picks it up. And that's, of course, Bookaboom, the guy I've been talking about all day, it seems like. That guy is everywhere. He's like Savoir Faire. He's everywhere. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, we got Gagne has an outside shot option, and I am going to try to pass. 72%? No, he lost a puck. Probably not the greatest time to try to get cute, but really, I figured that it was worth it. Minute 14 left on the penalty to uh, whoever has it for him. And then Steve Smith takes the puck away. McIver, McIver is in the penalty box for Edmonton. All right, so Gagne has an outside shot. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him for the, the outside shot. Or no, yeah. So now he's going to try to pass again. 72% chance. You would think that would come through, and it does. Inside shot for right wing, and that's Badano. Got to work sometime. And no, not here. It's going to be a save in the left wing for Edmonton has the puck. And that's McTavish. Comes away with it with 14.31 left in the second period. Now we're only being outside shot 16-10. to 10, But we are still being outscored by two, which is kind of sizable especially for us. All right, so player for a shot, I'm going to say, let's, let's say Bellows. And then Bellows with the shot, and I'm going to say try to penetrate, and he failed to penetrate. Had a 1 to 13 chance, he rolled a 20. So Mark Messier has the puck for Edmonton, they're still only winning by two, but it's not. Um, well, Gagne stole the puck and has an outside shot, but it's just an outside shot. It's going to be a rebound. Uh, what do we got? No, they got it. So Booga Boom has it, and we're back to even strength. But we stole the puck, and Bellows now has an inside shot right on top of Ranford. And that's going to be a goalie rating plus, which we're at even strength, so that won't be a goal. It'll be a face-off to Ranford's right.
So Glenn Anderson has the puck for Edmonton. And 50% chance on the intimidation. I'm going to take that. I'm all for that. And now we have the puck. Um, Tenorti has it. And again, he's the guy that's going to get the blame from me because we're losing by two, and they scored two while he was in the penalty box. Um, Shane Churla has an outside shot option. I'm just going to have him take the shot because, let's face it, he's not going to penetrate inside, and he's not going to pass it to anybody successfully. So that's a save, and the left wing for Edmonton comes away with it, and uh, that would be Craig Simpson in this particular case. Now the shots are even closer. It's 16 to 3, but we're still losing by two. Churla has an outside shot. I'm going to, we've discussed Churla recently, so he's going to just take the outside shot. And that is going to be a save anybody for him. So it's his choice. And let's see who he chooses. He's going to choose Kevin Lowe to get the puck. So, this is not uh, turning out to be a very great game for us. Um, and select a player for a shot. I'm going to say Bellows again. And there's possibly a penalty on him. Yeah, Klima. So Klima with the uh, penalty and the face-off in their end to the right of Ranford. Okay, Tenorti has an outside shot option. He's going to try to penetrate. Inside shot for right wing. And that's going to be Churla inside. I don't know if he's any better inside than he was outside, but let's hope he is. Nope, it's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it. And that's going to be McTavish. And there's, you now you successfully skate. With McTavish, and they failed to skate, so it looks like we're going to take the puck away and have a have an opportunity here, an opportunity. Um, player for the shot prop, yeah, that's a good choice. I I can I can sign up for that. So prop with an outside shot, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did. So prop will have an inside shot on Ranford. And that's going to be a goalie rating and a 10, and that's going to be a face-off. Saved by Ranford. All right, I'm going to shoot ahead again to the uh, two minutes in the... Uh, in the second period. Two minutes left in the second period. And it's 4-3. So we came back during that time. And now we're only being outside 23-19. And only outscored 4-3 with a minute 59 left in the second period. And uh, rebound to any defensive player. Rebound shot, I'm uh, supposing. and. Um, Hmm. We don't have a lot of good choices out there right now. I'm going to say Mike Craig. And we lose the puck to Isa Tikkanen. First time I've mentioned Isa Tikkanen in this game.
And all right, we stole the puck away, and now Berezan has an inside shot right on top of Ranford. And that's going to be a rebound. Let's hope we get it. And no, the left wing got it. So that's Issa Tikkanen again. And 15 seconds left in the second period. And what do we got? Uh, Chambers. Select a player for a shot. I don't know. We don't, again, bad choices. I'm going to go with Mike Craig. And Mike Craig with the outside shot. That's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away with it for Edmonton. And that's the end of the second period. As we go into the second period, down by a goal, which you got to think is uh, it's doable, um, at least for even a tie. And I'd be happy to come away, you know, here with a tie because, like I said, we're ahead of the actual 90-91 Minnesota North Star. So even just coming out of this game with a point would be great. And Bellows gets the puck off the face off. And uh, there's a penalty, and it's probably on him. Yeah. And that's going to be Jeff Bookaboom. Bookaboom! In the face, or in the, uh, in the sin bin. So we got a face-off to the right of Branford with uh, them being shorthanded. And uh, let's see. Jim Johnson, Jimmy J with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Ranford. And Messier comes away with the puck. 1916 left in the game. Unless we tie the game, and then there'll be a five minute overtime. Um, Dave Gagne has the, uh, has, well, I don't know if I want to, do we want to be Gagne? I think I want it to be Bellows. In this case, let's go with Bellows. And I'm going to pass it with Bellows and inside shot for the center. That's Gagne again. I don't know if I really wanted Gagne to give it up just to get it back and get that inside shot, but let's hope he can score, and he can't. And he gets to pick who gets the puck for him. That's going to be Messier. Failed to skate, and we are probably going to be able to capitalize on that, or at least capitalize on it as far as taking the puck away and getting possession. And uh, player for the shot, I'm going to go with Madano this time. And Madano is going to try to penetrate, and he failed to penetrate. Had a 1-13 to chance, but the roll was a 17, and McTavish comes away with the puck as a result. 18-34 left, we're down by a goal, and we're only down by a shot as well right now. So we close the gap seriously here with our offense, but uh, we've still got to get a game time goal. Eighteen twenty four left. Uh, select player for the shot. I'm going to go with Madonna again. And Madonna again penetrate. And he failed to penetrate again. Man. We are just blowing opportunities here like the wind. And there's only 52 seconds left in the penalty to uh, Bukaboo. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to go with Gagne this time. And this time we're going to try to pass it with Gagne. Inside shot for left wing. That's what I'm talking about. Now Bellows is on top of Ranford with an inside shot. That's going to be a goalie rating. And a five is a goal. And we tied the game. Minnesota has tied the game. It's 4-4, and we're tied in shots with 18-19 left in the third period. And 18-19, we took a little trip. Now it's 18-02. Right. So Bellows with his 40th goal of the year. Pretty impressive. These guys are playing off the charts in this 90-91 Stratomatic replay. I bet you Bob Gainey wished he had this version. All right, so we come away with the puck. Glenn has it. 17-15 left in the game. Four all. But Mooney has an outside shot. Don't ruin it for us, Mooney. That's going to be a rebound. And now they're going to tip the puck with Murphy. And uh, no, didn't work. So we can select the player for possession, and I'm going to give it to Gagne, who's across from a B. And uh, we'll figure out what happens next. Graves has it. We take it away and it looks like we're going to have an outside shot only by Gagne. That's going to be a save, and the right defenseman for Edmonton comes away with the puck. 16.05 left in the game, tie game, and tied in shots at 24 apiece. Mooney with the puck. He loses it to Glenn. And there's going to be a penalty, potentially. Yes, on him. Jeff Bookaboom. Love Bookaboom. He's, uh, he's killing them. So now he's going to be in the uh, sin bin for two more minutes. And we are tied with 15 minutes left in the game. So this was a bad time for Bookaboom to decide he was going to go head hunting. So Prop comes away with the puck off the face off. And it's rink wide and Bobby Smith. Outside shot for our main man, Bobby Smith. And that's going to be a rebound, and hopefully we can pick it up. And uh, offensive left wing up a three, and we have to hope he is. And he is. It's Brian Prop with an inside, well, with a rebound shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating and a seven, and that's going to be a save. I was thinking that was a goal. I don't know. All right. So Kevin Lowe has the puck. 14.35 left in the game. Wouldn't it be funny if I pulled the goalie right now? All right. So let's see. Bobby Smith has an outside shot. Uh, he's going to penetrate. No, he's going to try to pass. And now, player for a shot, Brian Prop, And that is who it's going to. So he's going to have an inside shot off the pass from Bobby Smith. That's going to be a rebound. Hopefully we pick it up. Offensive left defenseman if a three. That's probably not happening, and it isn't. So Mooney now has the puck, and we're out shooting him now. And there's 13.58 left in the game. Intercepted, Mark Tenorti. I'm going to go with that. I can go with that. 
Tenorti with an inside shot. And it's going to be a save and the defensive center. But they don't have a defensive center, so maybe we still have the puck. And we do. Shane Churla has an outside shot. He's going to pass, even though he's not great at passing. And he did lose the puck. Did I just say he's not great at passing? But wanted a better opportunity for a goal. I think it was worth it. So Murphy has the puck, and now we're back at even strength with 12.49 left in the game. And uh, Brian Prop took the puck away from McTavish and has an inside shot. But that's going to be a save, and the center will come away with the puck for Edmonton. That's McTavish. So, Gagne had the puck uh, for a moment, but I guess Lowe put a serious hit on him and took the puck away. Now Chambers has the puck for us. 11.02 left in the game. And that's a big miss. And Brian Glenn inside on Ranford. Seven is a lose to the left wing. 11 minutes left. And uh, Tikkanen, Issa Tikkanen has the puck. 10.29 now left. Thirty percent chance I will take it because this is getting down to crunch time, but it doesn't work. And Messier has an inside shot for the Oilers, and that's going to be a uh, save. And our right wing will pick that puck up, and that's Madano. Nobody's saying you'd rather have it in. Well, not really, any of the guys on this team, a lot of the guys on this team, are as is good or better than Madano. Um, let's see. Player for the shot. I'm going to go with prop. I'm not going to No, not Sean Chambers. No way. Well, that's a penalty possibly on him. Yes. Glenn Anderson with a penalty. Man, these guys, what are they? The goon patrol? All right, well, with 9.48 left, it could be a problem for them. Ranford is probably like, you know what? I'd like it if you guys could actually stay on the ice. I have a better chance of uh, being successful if you are. So Madonna was going to pass. I'm going to have Madonna pass the puck. Inside shot for the center, and that's Gagne. And that's a goalie rating and a goal. And we take the lead. Minnesota goes ahead at the 9.43 mark of the third period. And that will be the 34th goal for Gagne with an assist by Madonna. What a turn of events on this. It, I mean, it, early on, it looked like with that Tenorti penalty, it looked like we were in trouble and going to be in big trouble to a highly offensive Edmonton Oiler team. But I don't know. We're not right now. Mooney picks up the puck with 849 left. Oh, man, a bench penalty. I'm going to have Gagne serve it. No, Chambers. Let's have Chambers serve it. Well, that isn't good.
and Steve Smith has the puck. And Craig Simpson gets the feed, and he has an outside shot option, and he is going to uh, shoot it at Casey, and Casey saves it. Defensive center would have gotten the puck, but we don't have one because we are shorthanded. So they're probably going to come up with another shot. But they don't. Neil Broughton has the puck. Craig Anderson, or Greg Anderson. And that is going to be a save by Casey. Pretty amazing. So a face off to Casey's left. We're still winning. We're hanging on. We're hanging in there. 745 left. Out shooting Edmonton 30 to 27 and out scoring them 5 4. And Greg Anderson, though, has an uh, outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey. Or Glenn Anderson, sorry. Sorry, Glenn Anderson. Uh, Craig Simpson with a shot. Inside shot. Roll of an 11, and that's going to be a save left wing. Barazan comes away with the puck. Um, Neil Broughton. Yeah. And Broughton has an outside shot option. He's just going to, I'm just going to take it. We're throwing rubber at the net. That's goalie rating. Five. Goal. Now I think, uh, yeah, shorthanded goal. That's, that's crazy. A shorthanded goal by Neil Broughton at the 634 mark in the third period, which really, I think, kind of cements this game for us. His 15th goal with the assists by Berezan and Tenorti. All right, Tenorti is uh, he's a reclamation project for himself. And now they put in Grant Fuhr, DeFuhr. They bring in DeFuhr. But might be a little too little too late. But we'll see. There's six minutes left. Six minutes. You can get two goals in six minutes if everybody leaves the ice. All right. So Bobby Smith. I'm going to say yes. Let's let's give it to Bobby Smith. And he'll take the outside shot, and that's fine. I'm just throwing rubber at the net with a two-goal lead and content to do so. And that's going to be a rebound. And that's going to be the right wing who gets the puck, and for them, unfortunately, not us. So Peter Klima has the puck for Edmonton with 5.17 left and being down two goals to our men in green and yellow and that is an outside shot for Jelinus. and he gets an eight which is a rebound and offensive left wing at for three and he is and that's Jelinus again and that's going to be a save and the right defenseman comes up with the puck and that's Jimmy Johnson. Jim Johnson, 439 left. All we got to do is just play keep away here, basically. Bobby Smith has an outside shot option. I'm going to just take the outside shot. Again, just throw rubber at the net. You're winning the game by two with 439 left. That's going to be a rebound. 
We're not good at getting these rebounds. But we are here, offensive center for three, and that is, and Bobby Smith gets his own rebound. And then it's a save, and the left wing had it. Issa Tikkanen has it for them, 408 left in the game. Pretty confident saying that that's what the case is going to be because I don't think they're going to come back and win. And much less even tie it. So Tenorti has the puck for us, 332 left in the game. Um, Duchesne, Gatan Duchesne. The puck and Duchesne inside. Nice inside shot here. Five is going to be a save, and left wing for Edmonton comes away with the puck at 332. Maybe even less. Nope, 332. And 75% chance of an intimidation. Hell yeah, I'm taking that. But it still didn't work, and McTavish has an inside shot. And uh, that's going to be a goalie rating and a seven, which is a goal. So now they're only down by a goal. So, you know, maybe I spoke a little too soon. I don't know. Face off at center ice, 256 left in the game. Again, we really just need to play keep away with the 6 5 lead. And Doug Smale comes away with the puck. Come on, Smale, just play a little keep away with 227 left. And Tenorti got behind everybody and has an inside shot on DePure. And that's going to be a save, I feel. And we have a face-off to his right. Pretty soon they should be pulling the goalie when they get a chance. All right, Smale has an outside shot. We're just going to shoot it. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to play around. I'm not going to get cute. Not going to put see put, just going to take the shots. See what happens. So Mooney now has the puck, Craig Mooney. Up, oh, Tenorti's in the box again. If th now, if they score on this, he's back in my doghouse. I got to tell you right now so we got a two minute pe really the rest of the game we're going to be shorthanded unless he gets a penalty because of tenorti i'm going to tell tenorti listen you gotta you gotta you know put the head hunting on on the back burner when we're uh when we got a one goal lead with two minutes left in the game And Bookaboom took the puck away and penetrated inside, has an inside shot. And I don't like that. I don't. It's a goal. And they did do what I said they probably would not be able to do. And that is... Ready? Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! Is score two goals in six minutes. And that's exactly what they did. Bookaboom has his fifth goal of the year, and Klima and Tikkanen assisted on it. 6-6. Six, six. We got a barn-burning shootout here, and Tenorti is back in the doghouse for me. So let's see uh, if somebody can break through here with um, a minute 38 left. Bellows taking the puck. And inside shot for Broughton. Uh, 
And that's going to be a save, and their center comes away with the puck with 51 seconds left. McTavish has the puck for Edmonton with five seconds left. That's pretty much going to be it for regulation. And the period is over. And now we got five minutes, five minutes to decide it all right here. And this isn't like today. We can't, you know, if we lose the game in this five minutes, we lose the game. I mean, we don't get any points. Not like today where you can lose in overtime and get points. So we got Bellows with the puck. 434 left. And Tenorti inside. Now, he would be back out of the doghouse immediately. with a, Well, I don't know, because really, he loses it to the left defenseman. But really, it shouldn't have even come to that. So maybe he still wouldn't have been out of the doghouse again. Penalty coming to us, it looks like. Yeah, Jim Johnson. The two of those guys. I might have to keep them somewhere. Lock them in a basement somewhere when we have a game day. Well, now, now I would be thoroughly happy with a tie. Glenn Anderson has the puck for Edmonton. And that's going to be Steve Smith. And we got a yellow uh, dude in the net, but he still makes the save. But I'm not bringing in the backup, that's for sure. So, Barazan has the puck, 303 left in the game. Uh, Perry Barazan has an outside shot. And if you look at all those uh, ratings, you're just going to take the outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Fuhrer. And their left wing comes in and picks the puck up with 303 left. And Messier with an inside shot on a tired Casey. A yellow and tired Casey. And that's going to be a save, though. Left defenseman comes away with the puck. 2.25 left in the game. Tenorti has the puck. A minute 47 left in the game now. And, but they steal it away. And Smith with an inside shot. That's going to be a rebound. And the uh, penalty's over. And Gagne has the puck with 54 seconds left. So it looks like this may end in a tie. And Prop will try to intimidate because, well, McTavish, it didn't work. And now McTavish is inside. Nine, that's going to be a save in the right wing. So Casey is, uh, you know, he gets the Medal of Honor here because he is dog tired out there. And probably going to help us come away with a tie. Uh, player for the shot, I'm going to say prop. And prop inside. This could be it. We could win on the last card of the game. And we do. Yes, we do. Unbelievable. We, we win the game right near the end of overtime with a goal by prop. And no, Tenorti is not out of my doghouse. But we do win the game 7-6 to six on prop's 23rd goal of the year with Gagne and Madano assisting. So that was quite a game. Uh, we outshot them 40-36. to 36. Let's see who the stars of the game were in this one. Gagne for us, 
Madonna for us, prop for us. Certainly not Tenorti, though. So there you go. We win it 7-6. to six. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off from a great Minnesota North Star game.